Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there libra libra sun moon and racing sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me christy from and the stars by christy.com now um, for the month of December, I am doing things a bit differently with how I am doing my readings and this is how I'm going to be doing my future readings here on YouTube as well. It's not necessarily new because if you have been with me from the start of my YouTube journey, you will know that since 2015, the way that I do my readings is really more of a channeling type wherein I lay out all the cards the Lenormand, the Oracle cards, playing cards, dices, and the tarot all in one um, plate. And then I connect with the energies and pick up whatever that I can to get the most insight and guidance and predictions that I can give you guys as to navigate the month of December 2019. So, oh uh, yeah, even though that, you know, this might seem very general to some, it can be very specific for some people. This is still a general reading, so it may not exactly, you know, connect with your own situation. It may or may not. Um, I'll leave that judgment up to you guys. Um, but yeah, to get the personal predictions for your own situation you will need to have a personal and private session and you can do that on my website in the stars by chrissy.com if you like if you don't like it's cool as well so um yeah without any further ado let's get started oh and before i forget please do pardon me with my voice right now it might sound quite hoarse or something like that because um, I do have colds and it has been with me for the past few days. So um, yeah, pardon me on that. Anyways, let's start. Libra. I kind of feel that, you know, the month of December might have a lot of emotions involved here. You're starting off December quite good, actually. There is a sense here that, you know, there is something that you are looking forward to. I kind of feel that, you know, there is a huge emphasis on what is to come into your life. You are really focusing on that. What brings you hope? What makes you feel good? It is as if you are waiting for something to happen. And you could be. Also, some of you guys are either being hopeful about a partnership, about a relationship, and some of you guys are wanting to step up and really wanting a commitment towards a certain person in your life. For some of you guys, you might be just 
in the time we're in, you are now ready to be in a solid relationship with someone. I feel that in this reading, you already have a specific person in your mind. You have been patient with them. You have been, you know, the perfect person, you know. You don't have to be in a commitment with them right now. I kind of feel that, you know, whether you you guys have a label or not, you have treated this person in the best way possible. You have been the perfect girl for them. You might have been the perfect man for them. And you are being hopeful that things will really progress in that relationship. At the very least, this time around, you are being hopeful. I'm being shown here, though, that in the recent past, it feels as if you have entered a crossroads in terms of a relationship or love in general. Maybe you guys had a cool off or there was a breakup, a cool off. Maybe you are just questioning the relationship. There was something that have left you quite unsure in the past. But I kind of feel that somehow this time around, you have an idea on what you want in this relationship, what you think about this relationship. And because we do have the star and the two of cups here together, I am assuming that a lot of you guys are finalizing what they want and what they want is to be in this relationship. So any confusions you had in the relationship, in a previous relationship or whoever you're focusing right now, that has been cleared up. But you still have your own insecurities. There are still things that are le leaving questions in your mind. You're not acting emotional or dramatic at this time, but there's a lot of things happening in you internally. There's a lot of emotions. And you may not be showing this to other people. You know, it's just something private that you have within yourself. We are being shown here that your hopes can become a reality. There is a huge possibility that this can happen. That there is going to be some form of contact between you and a certain person. And I also kind of feel that this person might be someone far away. You might have some form of distance between this person and you. It could be that they could be literally far away. They could be overseas. Or um, whenever I have the star card, I kind of feel that, you know, it could be an internet connection. You're not together physically, I would say. So, um, yeah, there is, like I was saying earlier, there is a chance that you guys will be connected. I don't know if it's going to be happening on December or January, but... I'm getting here that there is a chance of this manifesting. A new beginning is going to be occurring in your life, in your love life, in your relationship after this stagnancy, after some form of struggle in, the, in your life, which I believe you already experience. So yeah, there is waiting here. And all at the same time, this is not a situation wherein you are just gonna be receiving the goodness of life. I kind of feel that this is a relationship. This is a situation wherein you need to make an effort and they have to take action. They need to have an eff make an effort as well. So it takes two to tango, like they say. And for your situation, for your relationship, the two of you are going to to act, to initiate, I believe. The two of you are going to be working together. But for now, I kind of feel that, you know, it's like a waiting game. But the possibilities of things happening are all there. I'm also getting here that, you know, I kind of feel that a lot of Libras are too good 
for their partners. Their partners are quite the opposite of them. They are the patient type. I mean, you Libras are the patient type. Again, just a disclaimer, this can be a vice versa kind of thing, you know? You could be the person that is very, um, very silly, you know, fooling around, doing mistakes here and there, and you could be in a situation wherein the other person is the perfect partner for you, or you're the one who is being the perfect partner for that p- person, vice versa, like I said. So... This person that you are connected with is quite of a risk taker. Maybe they always end up in troubles. So it gives me that feeling wherein you are too good for this person, to be honest. And I'm not going to judge on that. Um, I just kind of feel that, uh, yeah, there is an energy like that. That is also the reason why you have trust issues and you have your own insecurity about this person, about this relationship. But all at the same time, you love this person and you have come to realize that more on this month of December 2019. You realize that you actually still love this person. Or you really love this person through thick and thin, regardless of what has happened between you, regardless of what circumstances they have with their life. They could be a deceiver though, but that is part of their personality and blueprint, which you are accepting as a whole. I'm not saying that you guys are a doormat. I kind of believe that you are the type of person that can be patient, can be forgiving to this person. But whenever they cross the line, you tend to speak up and, you know, you really put a stop on things. And I kind of believe that that is the reason why your relationship with this person um, entered a struggling phase. Because you fought back. You fought back. You wanted to strive for balance in the relationship because things were not balanced anymore. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel that you are just dealing with a complicated person. It could be a complicated woman or a complicated man in your life. But you're still wanting to be with them regardless. So it is not an issue whether you wanted to to be in a relationship with someone new or not, I kind of feel that this is a situation wherein you want the person not because of what they make you feel, but you want the person for the person that they are. And for me, it's something to salute by because it tells me that you really love this person. Not just to have a man or a woman in your life, but It has to be that person, you know. It cannot be someone else. It has to be that person alone. I'm going to hear that, you know, you're really wanting to experience some form of emotional love. Some form of love that is true. It is something that you haven't felt in such a long time. And now you're ready, like I said. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm getting here. Someone that you have broken off, someone that is not in your life anymore, you will create some form of contact with them. So I know that I have a lot of comments whenever I mention exes, whenever I mention a past love. You know, a lot of people will argue that I don't want to to be with my ex anymore or anything like that. But I'm just telling you guys what I see. So um, don't hate the messenger. But um, yeah, I'm getting here that there is something hopeful that you are going to be experiencing. And it's going to come through to a communication or a partnership. That was distant before, but now reaching out. 
That is what I'm getting here. So it could, it is possible that the first half of December might be. Might be you wishing on things, but feeling alone, having some form of insecurities. But there is a huge possibility that the second half of December, onward to January, it comes with a new surge of energy. I don't know if it has a huge relation to the eclipse that we are going to be having on the twenty sixth of December. I have a video about that, by the way, if you haven't seen it. So, um, yeah, should be up here, <laughs> up here, here, here. I don't know. Um, yeah, there's going to be news that is going to come, and something is going to change. Once you receive that news, because it will give you some form of hope and optimism back in your life. But the biggest issue here is that the biggest theme I would say is that you are going to realize what you really feel for a certain person. Maybe you had cold feet. That maybe you started to doubt yourself that you don't love someone anymore, and after that silence, after that break, after that distance, you have come to realize that hey, I still love this person, and I don't know if it's still possible, but I still, I would want to have them back in my life. There is that energy. There is definitely going to be a second chance here. Going to come up, and I kind of feel that for many of you guys, this is like a karma speaking. It's like two people who has promised some form of love. It could be their soul, soul connection as well, or maybe the two of you have a very strong foundation in the relationship. Maybe the two of you have decided to, you know, be together for good in the past, but has fallen apart in the process. Now I kind of feel that this is the time wherein you are starting to um to fulfill that promise, to fulfill that whatever contract you have with that person. There's definitely going to be second chances and healing involved, karmic situation. It is going to create a lot of emotional things in you, but the changes that is going to be happening is something you can look forward to. Something really good is out there, and this is very interesting.、Um, I do have my Lenormand over here. This is the letter card, the mountain. And this really means a delay of message, a delay of message, or a communication that has been blocked. And at the middle, we have this clover, which is all about good luck, opportunities that can come. And then we have this anchor, which which is all about you know stagnant. Situation or something of long term, and with a mirroring of a mirroring method in the Norman is you take the mirror of this two mountain and anchor. This is like you know, so there was something very dry in that relationship or in this situation. So. I'm clearly seeing that there is no contact. There was no contact, but look at here. We do have the writer card, which is good news to come. So this clearly changes everything because it makes me feel that this is about someone 
that you trust, that you are longing for, comes in. There could be a news about someone trustworthy or someone that can stay with you for the long haul. I feel that, you know, it feels like there was a huge delay on things. And this heart actually fell off when I was shuffling. So opportunity about something to do with your emotion, something to do with love as a whole as well. So what has dried up has now reached its destination. You know? Finally, after this um, situation, some form of result is coming in, some form of good news. This could be a lover, even a sealer or a lover. Message from a man, message from this person who probably has not been in contact because of an opportunity of love. You know, that kind of energy is in place here. So I find that interesting. So yes, there was some form of distant and stagnant situation. And then finally, there's going to be some form of changes and gains that you are going to be receiving from this. And also we have this Venus in the sign of... <laughs> yeah, Venus in the sign of Leo in the seventh house. So definitely we are being shown here some form of partnerships. In focus. It can trigger a lot of your emotions because this can be dramatic in its own way, very passionate as well, passionate feelings coming into place. So we also have here the celebration card because maybe there is something that you can expect and look forward to, to what's going to be happening for you on December we also have here the Desiree card we're in. It could be a situation that tells you to reconsider things. Maybe you need to reconsider this relationship that is going to re-enter your life. And in the third and last card that we have here, it tells us to listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So this is the time we're in. You don't need to think what of the comments and advice of other people. This is about you. This is your relationship. So if you still love someone, you don't need to think of what is right and what is wrong. Just go with what you feel. If you still love them, go with it. At the same time, you know, if you feel that you shouldn't be with this person, you feel that... You should guard yourself from someone. We do have the moon card over here. So use your intuition to navigate the situation that you are in. So, um, yeah, this is definitely something to do with partnership focus. Having to face that person that maybe has left you or maybe you have hurt or... I, you know, I don't know. It could be vice versa. But definitely, some form of gifts is going to be entering your life. Some form of gains. You are going to be receiving something from afar. It's definitely in store here. A relationship can be reborn. It has a chance to have some form of spark once again. So, yes, this is really what I'm getting for you guys, Libra. I have told you everything that I can, everything that I'm picking up with this reading. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your situation. Again, to only know the predictions for your own personal situation is to get a private session with me. You can do that by booking a session from my website in the starsbycrazy.com. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. It's quite easy. Just click that subscribe button. Please do like the video if you love this kind of reading. 
And um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to tick the bell icon to get notified on future uploads. And I'll see you guys next year.